Rationalizing the denominator. Okay, this is a relic from um, your dad's day or your grandfather's day. Um, why? Um, roots, if they can't be simplified, are irrational. That means that they have a non-terminating, non-repeating decimal. Yeah, back in the day, do you know how hard it was to divide by a non-repeating, non-terminating decimal? That's right. When you go old school, you have to move the decimal the number of places. So in this particular scenario, whoops, scenario, um, you'd infinitely move your decimal places, which wasn't cool at all. All right, so yeah, why not use a decimal approximation? I know, we'd go there. Also, there are some practical applications when you get into calculus, definitely, and integration and stuff like that. It may behoove you not to have um, roots in your denominator. Okay, let's go to rationalizing these denominators. Yeah, up here I see I have an irrational denominator. Well, the square root of two. What I want to do is I want to get it rational down there. That means chase all the roots out. Okay. What do I multiply the root two by to get um a rational number? Maybe let's go after two. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna multiply top and bottom by the same thing. I'm gonna multiply top and bottom by the square root of two. Uh huh. Sure. Um, premature flower for separation. But I can't um divide the denominator by two without also multiply the denominator without also multiplying the numerator by two. Yeah, uh, the square root of two. Why? Because we're multiplying by the magic one. If we can multiply once, then we can multiply twice. And then I'm gonna take it down here. Sure, so here we go. This is two roots of two divided by, uh-oh. Uh oh, the root of the product is the product of the roots and vice versa. Here we have the product of the roots, that's the root of the product. That's gonna be, um, what now? The square root of four. Sure, but wait, there's more. This is two root of two divided by, what's the square root of four? Two. Uh huh, can you reduce that? Yeah. My objective was to get all the roots out of the denominator, and they're gone. But I can go more. This one's special. Hey, right. And you're left with the square root of two. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. A box. I don't know what that is. Oh, you know what that is? It must be a golf ball. Yeah. And these are the divots, and that's the club, and here's the handle. Mm -hmm. Or the next one. Here I got the root of the quotient is the quotient to the roots. So then I can break it up just like that. Square root of 25 divided by the square root of 3x. Okay. Uh huh. What's the square root of 25? Yeah. It's five divided by the square root of three X. Now we gotta rationalize that denominator. What am I gonna multiply that denominator to make it um, whole, if you will? You know, rational. So I'm gonna multiply top and bottom by the same thing. And it gonna be the square root of three X, the square root of three X. Yeah, here, here the root times the root is gonna yield the radicand. So then that's down there in the bottom, 3x. And in the top, uh-huh, I'm gonna have five times the square root of 3x. And then what? you I'm kinda thinking this marker's going the same way. I'm gonna come up here, yes. Here we have a more harder example. Uh-huh, sure. I'm trying to get rid of that third root of two. Also, irrational. Um, what am I gonna multiply the third root of two by to get two? Hmm, okay. So now we need to go back to the fundamental steps of roots. All right, some of you guys are like, why don't I just multiply by the third root of two? We've been doing that the whole time. The reason we were doing that the whole time is because with the square root, you need two copies of stuff to get one out. Now, two factors. 
gets one out. How many factors do we need here? Here we need three, because it's the third root. So then I'm looking at that. Yeah, I need to multiply that by four, or the third root of four. Why? Because this is two times two times another two, then I'll have three copies of two, and I'll be able to get one out. So then down here, this is the third root, the third root of four. Now these index matches match, so then I can multiply them straight across. And I have two times the third root of four divided by, oh, the third root of eight. Great. Keep on keeping on. This is two times the third root of, third root of four. Uh -huh. And I can simplify that third root of four no more. But I can, however, simplify the third root of eight. What's that gonna be? Two. Oh man, this was not planned. Divide! And you have the third root of four. Some of you guys are wondering, does that reduction happen every time? And no, it doesn't. We were just lucky. Mm-hmm. A box. And I'll put that up here, because I need to explore what happens if we have more than one term in that denominator. Okay, when we have more than one term in that denominator, here in this denominator, I have two terms. Right, some of you guys are like, maybe you multiply top and bottom by the square root of two and then distribute it in there. Uh-oh, I'm still gonna have roots in my denominator. So what we need to do is we need to employ the conjugate. Yes. What is he talking about? I'm talking about A plus B. A minus B. Every time you see, that's gonna multiply out to be A squared minus B squared. Notice if one of these has a, a square, we're gonna achieve our objective of getting rid of that root when we square the dang thing. Uh-huh, okay. So I need to talk about what's the conjugate of root two plus three. T he, T he. The conjugate of root two plus three is root two minus three. Okay, why? Because we were going after the property a plus b and minus b. Yeah, um, can't multiply the bottom without also multiplying the numerator. This is gonna be the square root of two minus the three. T he, t he. So you see, we're multiplying by the magic one. If I can multiply once, then I can multiply twice. Oh, down there in that denominator, see, I'm using, whew, that's dot, dot, dot. Yeah, for those of you guys who have seen the special products video. Uh-huh, dot, 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 or dot, dot, dot. It's dot, dot, dot. So then here, I have, I have, I have, the square root of two squared minus three squared. Finish him. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna leave this in factored form. So then I'm gonna have two times the square root of two minus three. Tee hee, tee hee. Come on, just give me a little bit more marker. Come on. Root two squared. Yeah, that means it times itself. That's gonna give you root two. No, 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 no. That's gonna give you two. Yes. Minus, what's three squared? Nine. Fine. Finish him. What's two minus nine? Yeah, it's a minus seven. So then I'm gonna have two times the square root of two minus three divided by a minus seven. And at that point, you're done. A box. Ooh. And a squeaky flag.